Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. It's day three of our tour heading into Canada. That's right. We are here in Whitefish, Montana at the Kandahar Lodge. It's about 8.30 in the morning. We're going to go down and get some breakfast, but we have some hot wives waiting for us over there. As part of our day, we're going to work ourselves into Waterton Park, then up to Canmore, which is just below Banff. We could see some wildlife today. That would be great. You know what's really interesting? For the first time ever on the Two Lane Life Tour, we have to take our passports. What's the prop that because, just flew out? Because we're crossing the border for the very first time on motorcycles. So. Let's get across the border. Good morning, America. Good morning, America. We're gonna have some breakfast. We're all hungry. Here at the Buffalo Cafe, Laura's friend, John Kim, recommended this and it looks great. What are you guys having over there? I've got some basted eggs, some spicy sausage, um, and sourdough. Same thing, but I've got Casey bacon. Sausage and uh, eggs and hash browns and some fruit. Yeah, buddy, the classic breakfast, eggs and bacon. I did two poached eggs and some pork belly. Can't wait. Man, that ride in here was insane. 70 mile an hour speed limit, just cruising, no cars in the front or rear, waterfront views, incredible. Yeah, we're entering into the east entrance of Glacier National Park. We're gonna cruise up to the 89. I can't believe the color of the water and the insane riding through there. Well, this is beautiful. You know, I love just being on the bike, listening to the great music, the Eagles, Bob Seeger, with this scenery, and I'm I'm watching Teresa up there, and she's looking around and filming, and Josh is laughing in the thing. I mean, this is what it's all about, boys. Look at that. The color of the water is pretty trippy to see, that deep, kind of light blue. There's still some snow off in the distance in the mountains, but yeah, this is a ride. I mean, it's t-shirt weather. It's perfect out here. We're just cruising down the road. Well, we're sitting up at about 6,000 feet above sea level. We're in the Quay Keys. You've got the mountain range and snow in the mountains. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, the ladies really love it. And, you know, it's. Uh, I hope we can see some wildlife through this area here. The weather looks perfect. There's some beautiful cloud structures. No rain, a lot of sunshine. And hey, that's what this is all, all about. Absolutely. Looking forward to busting out the film camera. Brought a couple rolls of Porsche 400, so all those colors are gonna pop, that's for damn sure. Hey, this is what we do on the two lanes. You got it, I love it. Well, it looks like there's a road closure, so we are whipping around and we're gonna see what our options are. We might have a little bit of a long ride out of here. I guess we have to go to plan A, which was go to Browning, and then we'll cut across to 89. I don't know if 89's open. We'll check it out in Browning and see what's up. We're pulling into customs here. We got to check in. Here's yes, the Canadian sir. border. Uh, we see some Couple dudes of bikes. coming through. This is a very interesting thing, guys. We're on motorcycles. We're leaving our country and going into Canada. Pretty cool. I got to find my passport buried in the saddlebag somewhere, but this is awesome. Look at that Canadian flag. We'll see him on the other side. Yes, sir. Wow. What a run from We're Whitefish here. to Waterton. Wow. I cannot believe this. And we actually had some cool, uh, there we go, honking by us. We had some really cool border agents. Uh, wanted to be on camera, but they can't. So, <laughs> but it was cool to have a discussion with them. But what a great ride in here. It was a great ride. I mean, I can't believe the weather, the rain. It had a couple drops come in. It got cloudy. We, we braved it and said, don't put the rain gear on. We want to get into Canada, see what that's all about. We're here. The adventure is going to begin now. It's a stage two of this journey. Yeah, we finally made it. And ladies, what did you think of the ride there? Or here, ride here, I should say. Spectacular. Yeah. The mountains are like 
Switzerland and uh, Switzerland and I heard they only get better from here that's right and it wasn't really even that cold it was it was the weather was really nice and I just it was it's hard to explain but it was just we keep saying the same words yeah. but gorgeous yeah and we are going to get down into Waterton Lakes we'll grab some lunch and some gas and then we're going to make our way up to Canmore today I can't wait to get there that's where our, we're staying tonight um, just outside of Banff, get some good rest, and tomorrow spend some time in Banff. Well, we'll see what kind of food's ahead of us and what kind of drinks ahead of us, and hey, let's uh, let's do this. Let's go. Dude, just fill up some gas. We just got gas, $85 worth here. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna eat lunch, I think, at Trappers, if that's what we all decide, but uh, pretty amazing. It's really warm out, and we're up here, like, kind of like, if we were in t-shirts, we'd be really happy. Well, I'm in a t-shirt, and Galen also is having a gas problem. He's got a, he's got a gas leak at his house. Yes, you know, things that happen when you're on the road, you never know, you know? You got to love it. What's up, dude? I'm here in a beautiful place called Waterton Lakes, Alberta, Canada. And guess what? I got a gas leak at the house. So I'm on the phone with our gas company. Hey, these are things that happen on the road and you fix them. What are we doing right now? We're going to go eat. We, this is a quaint little gas station. Kind of reminds me of how gas used to be. You just pull up, flip the lever, pump the gas and go pay the people. Kind of right. cool. Let's go eat lunch. Yeah. G-Man, where are we at? We're at Trapper's Grill in Waterton Lakes, and we've got some great food, a great ride, and a great day ahead of us because we still have about three hours. Three hours, that's it. And we're eating chicken, and we got stew. We got all kinds of great food. We got pizza. Woohoo! Margarita pizza. Ham and cheese, sweet potato fries. Uh, What's let's this? eat, baby. Come on. guys what do you think about riding through all this haze and smoke that we've just encountered well we've had to do this before on the way to Sturgis and a couple other trips and not really fun because you can't see the actual beauty and I hate that, that it's on the Canada trip that we're doing this that we can't see out there because we've never been here before yeah it's weird we pulled up to lunch it was completely clear out there and then came out of the restaurant it was uh, starting to get smoky and now I'm guessing we're heading mostly north and it seems to be getting worse as we head north, but uh, hey, kicking back, relaxing, enjoying the ride. Speed limits are a little slower than we used to, but either way, a good time. Yeah, then it's all in kilometers for you people in uh, the United States that don't know that. Speaking of kilometers, we're at 1,182 meters above sea level, 26 degrees Celsius. Look at you. We're doing 100 kilometers right now, which is the equivalent of 60 miles an hour. How about that? I'm gonna give you an A plus on your report card. Thank Harley because I just switched it on the nav. I'm gonna translate that for you guys. That's 3,800 feet. It's 77 degrees out. We're going 65 miles an hour. And we've got a little bit of wind with us. It looks like we're gonna take over this truck right here. There you go. Cool. How much we got left to the uh, house? Yeah, we've got about maybe 100 miles of the house. We're gonna turn right here in two miles, and we're gonna take the 22 up, which is uh, supposed to be a great road. Right on. We wanted to take the 49 up through, but it was closed halfway, so we missed that today, but maybe next time. Keep your eyes open for wildlife. We've been told by everyone, watch out for the wildlife. Yeah, I should probably subscribe while they're at it too. That's a good idea. They could visit TulaneLife.com as well if they'd like. <laughs> Let's rip through this smoke and see where we end up. See ya. Well, we just had a nice stretch of light rain. We're in t-shirts. What's uh, what's the business, G-Man? Well, I just kind of scared the group. 
uh, I plugged in the next destination and it's 344 miles in. but that is to our Airbnb in Hinton up in Jasper we actually only have 95 miles to go it didn't scare me because I don't care and I, I'm frozen and I'm cold I mean there's smoke came in then it started raining and we're in this like watery yuck stuff gnarly still beautiful how can you say you really don't care and you were on the comm going where's that building where where is it so i was on the comm saying hey where's the next gas station because there's nothing for miles in this area ladies a little frozen but we are dry <laughs> now <those> so. <laughs> slightly chilly but glad we got a ringer on now let's do it talking about these roads that we love so much and I don't know that there's anything that parallels this road that we're on right now it's freaking amazing and the other thing is it's so weird it feels like we're in the states in different parts of our area as well you know everywhere we go it always seems to have something that's so spectacular and we get so excited and it just the trips are always awesome and this one is definitely right there just jamming along we're having a great time and you know hey what a place to be we're out of our, we're in a different country now and that makes it even more special it's 7:43. the twilight zone is hitting and uh we're gonna get down into this little town here we're just south of banff we got an airbnb it looks like it's gonna be pretty cool got through that fire and all that haze and now i can't believe the grandeur of these peaks are you guys there are you guys there hey cardo battery status all right so we're half a mile away from our our spot here we need to make a decision whether we're going to unpack and go try to find something to eat or just find something to eat and unpack so let's go figure that out again all this stuff is somehow <laughs> It's on three there, bikes. There's, there's no way this was on three motorcycles. Should we take an MTV tour? We can take let's, a tour. Let's check out the uh, balcony here. So this is Canmore, which Whoa. is right outside of Banff. And Whoa. Holy shit. <laughs> wow. Uh, Man, you got the light coming down. Let's go. Let's go find yeah. G-Man. I'll take credit. I got okay. this. Cool. All right. Hey, yeah. This is where, uh, this is where the magic happens. I did find Josh's room. Okay. okay. Go back to the right. Keep going, Josh. Whoa, <laughs> I got a bunk bed, homie. Whoa. Nice. Okay. That's all you. All right. The tour continues. Would you look at that? Just beautiful. Walking beyond the dad of the closet. And another bout. Dude, I'm mind blown. This That's is nuts. Not a bad view. I think you can see the northern lights from just about from I don't know. If but I can see a lot of incredible mountain structures. All right. Well, uh, Canadian Rocky Mountains. Right. Boom, we're here. What do we have going on here, dude? Well, I want to say there's nothing like after a long day of riding, having dinner and drinks with your family. You know what I mean? And that's what we're doing. Agreed. What do you got? Uh, I've got a uh, what we got here? beef lemon wrap. Beef <laughs> Let lettuce wrap. Lettuce wrap. <laughs> we had a little cheers. bit. Cheers! Cheers! Wow, we're here at Blake. Uh, we made it to Canmore, Alberta, Canada. Can't wait. We're just about 12 miles south of Banff. Bam we got the kimchi bowls with pork belly. Lance got a kimchi bowl with an actual hamburger patty. Josh, what did yes, you get? Yes, sir. I got a little uh, chicken rice bowl, my go-to. Vermicelli, yes, something sir. like that. But looks good, let's eat, man. Hey, it's 10 o'clock in the p.m. and it's still bright as day outside. Is it outside. 10 o'clock? No is 10 way. I swear. We just had a great meal. 05. Uh, and we just learned 
Those are the three sisters. Right there, three sisters. One, two, three. Glad to see it. I might wake what are you laughing at? What's so fun? <laughs> well, sometimes we don't know what accent we've got going on right now. And I'm there. Oh, <laughs> Laura, You're making fun here. of the waitress? No, no, no. no, no we never, loved her. Never. She was kind of cool. Yeah. She was right. adorable. I thought she was really cute, Josh. Hey. Uh, um, just kidding. What do you think about 10 p.m. being bright as day outside? It freaks That's me crazy. out. It's my bedtime. It is. Right. Let's go back. It feels like it's 7 o'clock, but it's 10? really 10. Is it 10? What you got, dude? I got a cast. I got the ladies a bottle of red wine and a little Tito's. Just a little libation at the place that we're staying at. Why not? It is 11.48 p.m. We are working on downloads that we do every night when we're on trips. What's up, boys? How was today? Uh, we're looking at the map for tomorrow, but today was great. Uh, we're going to go up to Lake Louise, uh, maybe to Moraine Lake, and then come back down Bow Valley Parkway. We've had a couple people tell us via Instagram, this is the way to do it. We're going to do it. Yeah. You know, you have long days, great riding. You get tired. You have a great place to go sleep. Get up, have a good breakfast, and do it all again. Yes. Yes, sir. I think tomorrow we'll sleep in until... Seven? Maybe. Something like that. We'll be in bed tonight by one. Pretty average night, I guess. But uh, good times. Had by all. See you so, down the road. Subscribe. TulaneLife.com. If you had as much fun watching this as we did riding it, good times had by all. Yeah. Good. Good.